Welcome to another part of Fug 2 GBA. This time, we're going to New Orleans. And, uh... New Orleans is actually kind of enjoyable, at the very least. Paulie got sucked about, I guess, and got in trouble and all of that shit, so he's out, I'm guessing. And, uh, hey. You know, starting off right here by the road, we got no car but a scooter this time, so there's no car goal this time. Thank fuck. And I believe this is the only time we ever not get a fucking car goal outside of, like, the last level, because there are no cars early in the last level. However, we do have to do some more skate letters and some more combo letters, and, you know, doing some more of these gaps, like the church spine and the, uh, statue spine right there. And also trying to find the fucking letters, in fact, which I could be jump cutting for you right now of this, but... It's, it's quite early into the video. I think we can be fine with me just not jump cutting. Besides, I'm showing you the level anyway of this rooftop area. New Orleans was pretty rooftop orient because, you know, a good bit of it, our time was on the rooftops. But, uh, yeah, about half this fucking level is the rooftops. So, that's fun. There's also this area right here where there is some graffiti spots and also a K. And there's the A. And over here is the T. There you go. Okay, so with that out of the way, we now move on forward in order for us to essentially go over this entire gap in order to get building gap. We can even go backwards for it. And also, I am grinding these, but it's not really doing anything. Because on this river, it doesn't do anything for us. But, if I get all the way over to the other side of this area, by transitioning into here, and I grind these spots, I end up getting the south vent gap. Out of them will do. And after that, down here is the graveyard area, which, um, you know, has this little spit here. We don't have to worry about fucking, like, you know, zombies and shit here, luckily, but we have Polly here who wants us to go around and, you know, do some more of that Flatland minigame bullshit. So, you know, get that out of the way. I don't really have to explain how, well, fucking boring this is. I'm sure you get the gist of, you know, how really easy this minigame is. I think, quite honestly, the worst part about playing these is that after a while, you just get kind of sick of them because they don't do anything more at this point, really. You've kind of now experienced everything, and yet the game keeps throwing, <clears throat> keeps throwing these minigames at you, Despite the fact that it's not doing anything for you, it's not doing you any favors, it's not adding anything, it's not really making it any more difficult, it's just making it longer. Which kind of makes this artificially extending the gameplay, extending how long the game is going to be, and just being utter padding. I mean, yeah, you can see that the button's not going by really fast. And for a lot of these animations, they go by way too fucking slow for us to even get anything other than a red, maybe. But, um... Still... When you got the one arrow prompts, it does make things very quick in that regard. So, you know... Also, it's very easy to confuse which arrow is the right one or the left when it comes to what it's showing us. And that jump came because of the fact that we're talking to this guy now who wants to do the combo letters, which I'm going to go ahead and do by essentially just jump cutting to me actually doing it because I mean a few tries to actually pull it off. I kept fucking it up. So, jump cut. Get the C manual over there, grind this entire rail all the way through for the O, M, and B, and also get the gap known as waterfront rail, and then get off that and just go that ramp for the O. That's it. With that out of the way, we can move on forward to another goal, which happens to be right here at this corner of Sparrow. I want to just get 125,000 points. Honestly, pretty easy. However, I did make some mistakes and some points, mainly because of the fact that this game, this entire level really, has some fucking off shit. 
it shouldn't be that bad, but this level in particular has the most awkward problems with grinding. For instance, this spot here. There's a lot of spots in this entire fucking level, this entire map, where it's very easy to just bail, like there. How did that, that happen? How the fuck did that work? I don't know. The game won't explain it. The game will never explain it. Deal with it. All we know is that there are a lot of spots where the game will automatically bail you no matter how far on the balancing you are, no matter how bad your balancing is or anything. If you are grinding to a certain spot in a lot of these grinds, you will automatically bail and lose your combo for no good fucking reason. But hey, I did my best here and I got pretty much the best score I can possibly get right now, as well as doing this transfer here in order for me to go ahead and get to the, uh, you know, the one tequila gap there. With that out of the way, we can now move on forward to Phil here, who wants me to go ahead and do two spines in the courtyard here, which is obviously going to be the statue and church spines. So go ahead, why don't over to where the statue is first. If it would work, please work. Thank you. It didn't work. What the fuck? Okay, there we go. The statue spine and the church spine. There we go. I was about to say the get was not going to register for a second. Anyway, with that out of the way, we can now move on forward. And yes, thank God it's not fucking Sunday. Anyway, now I gotta go ahead and grind the waterfront rail after that gap again. So, you know, don't do what you did beforehand, just grind these rails. Done. And while we're here, uh, there is a guy just right next to me, so I'm about to go and talk to him, shall we? It's Steve-o. He wants us to essentially grind this little trolley area with the tracks. Just grind either of the track sides and you'll get the gap known as trolley track. There you go. Okay, after that we'll go ahead and just, you know, talk to Phil here, wants me to go ahead and take care of grabbing some beads. So there's the beads, gotta grab all four of them, because it's Mardi Gras, so beads will be involved. There's no throwables in this game. One's in the graveyard, after I get this transfer here for cemetery entrance. And the last two happen to be right over here, right on these little benches, I guess. One on the bottom left and one on the bottom right. Just go ahead and grab them. And that's it. And after that, we can go ahead and talk to Steve-O again, who has something for us to do. And that something is by um, taking care of the cops. Yeah, the cops are around again, and there are four of them. Just drop into them. That's one. Another one's inside the uh, the bar area. There you go. The other two are a bit more difficult because of the fact that one of them's by the graveyard, just staying right by a ramp. And the last one is just right the fuck here inside the courtyard. And that's it. They're not that hard, really. It's just difficult to find them. Anyway, after that, we're going to go ahead and just jump cut over to Chad, who is where the team challenges are. We got to transfer the tram now. I mean, the ramps are there, but you couldn't see the, the other ramp on the other side, could ya? There is a ramp behind that fucking trolley, and we're gonna land over to it. See? Trolley gap. And I gotta get hit a fucking pro for the next one. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to Tagger here, who wants me to go ahead and, you know, tag some more of these spots. So, we pretty much know where they are. They're all very close together. The problem is that... One of them requires to do a spine transfer over to it, so that sucks, but hey, there's two, and the third one is right behind from that ramp, so just transfer over there, and then grab the last one, there you go. That is the closest they ever get together, but, um, yeah, you have to do a bit more to find that one. Also, let's transfer that from Margarita Air, and, uh, Polly did his thing already, so I'm going to talk to him and just take care of the requirements there. There you go. 
And now I'm gonna go ahead and change into a new skater, which is our last teammate, Mike Valley. He looks a bit weird. The other one's kind of fine. Mike is just really fucking weird, however. Has like black marks on like his elbows. Anyway, gotta do the transfer here now. So, do what you did beforehand. Transfer the trolley. I mean, yeah, there's the whole, you know, stat problem, but, you know, just take care of it with a boneless, you'll be fine. Or a fast plant, really. And with that out of the way, I get a text message instead of getting a cutscene. This is the only time where we actually have to go into the skate van to get the cutscene and move on. Otherwise, there's no point. So that's weird. But now I'm going to escape van, I'm going to change my character, and then... There you go, Party Town, USA. So, bam won again, but then the equalizer happens. And, uh, yeah, all of our shit got equalized, essentially. However... No, the equalizer doesn't happen at all. In fact, the remaining, uh, skaters just get kicked out, and it's just me and, to and uh, Tony with Bam. Don't know what happened to Eric, but Eric's gone now, and, uh, yeah. That does mean that all we have left in our team is just Tony. So no equalizer, we just lose the rest of our teammates. Anyway, I gotta go and do a kickflip over to the, uh, the fucking statue spine here. So, if I can just do that correctly. There you go. With that out of the way, we now have to go ahead and get a pro, which I'm going to do right now. But first, Tony here wants us to do more of the fucking tennis ball for 25 rounds. I think, if I'm not forgetting this, this is the last time we ever do the tennis ball minigame when it comes to story mode. We're not done with it yet, for a specific reason, but we are done with it for story mode. So at the very least, this is the maximum, 25 fucking rounds. It's so boring. It's so boring. We've had this for almost every level now. And this minigame. Has just, has just been nothing but padding. It's been nothing but fucking padding. I don't have anything else to say, really. What else can you say at this point about this minigame? We've done this so many times now, with so many rounds. And this is what the longest one. I mean... Fuck, man, like... I don't have much else to say about this, it's just... It's just this. It's just this. It's just this for... Oh, fucking hell. About ten minutes? It's just... It really is padding. It's just padding. I don't know why the developers even did this. I don't know why they wanted to pad the game out this fucking battle of this minigame. This minigame in particular, really. We could have had some more interesting and fun goals, but instead, we end up with this fucking minigame every goddamn time just wasting minutes away from our lives. Making us do just this. It's not even hard. It's not even really a challenge. It's just fucking long. It's too fucking long for its own good. I just... 
Like, what else can I say, really? What else can I say in this entire bit of the video right now, until we get back to the goals normally? 25 fucking rounds. We're in round 12 now, by the way. Oh yeah, it's been going fast, but... There's, there's still so many more minutes left when I haven't halfway through this minigame right now. Oh, God. Oh, I don't have anything fucking else to say about this. I could skip this, you know? But then I get the same fucking complaints I got about beat that. They're like, you didn't show it, Zin. You didn't show the fucking thing. So you didn't fully complete the thing. When are you gonna show the fucking 25 rounds of this goal, huh? I need to know. This is what all that fucking complaining does. It makes me make you sit there and watch this. And to make matters worse, it gets much longer when we get to a certain fucking video. It's gonna be longer than you're seeing right now with this fucking minigame. This isn't even the longest we have to go for this game. Puckle the fuck up! Oh, I just fucking can't. Oh no, I shot a dude. By accident. Because I'm becoming fucking brain dead. This is the worst part about this game. You cannot win the debate with me on what part of Bug2GBA is the worst part. This fucking minigame... It wins. It fucking wins. There's no contest. Do not even try to make a fucking contest, because you're gonna lose! Right, at this point, you can see there's the third layer right there. That's the furthest one. The targeting hit spots for that are a lot more fucking stingy. But it's still not that difficult. The worst is the buckets and Wee Man. The buckets are much hard hit at a very big distance. And as for Wee Man, if he appears to the very back, ignore him. You're not gonna get the time to hit him. Look at that. Fuck all time to react and notice and even go for it. It's not worth it to get Wee Man over there. Just worry about him when it comes to the middle and the front. Because those have the most time for you and are the most easiest for Wee Man hitting. Don't go for the furthest back because you're going to fucking miss almost every time. Alright? And that's it. That is the entire minigame talked about now. There's nothing else, it's just this. From now on. It doesn't even, like, change things up anymore. It's just this now. This is the entire minigame. You're fucking welcome. And again... 
This isn't even the longest we have to take in this fucking minigame. It... You'll see how long this becomes, alright? You'll see how long this game is gonna force me to play this. I'm so fucking bored. They keep giving me low scoring pedestrians. The fuck. There we go. Alright, last round. Then we can move the fuck on. God. That way, man, was so off screen. This. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're done. You wanna know why we're done? I'll tell you why. One. Two. Done. Fuck it. Jump cut. Give me the reward. Which is nothing. Thanks, Tony. Cunt. Anyway, moving on now. Tony has nothing for us to do. It's the hydrants. I get the most clean line out of all four hydrants of, like, any level, really. Out of any Naspin thing. Look at that. Four, three. One, two. Fucking clean. Now jump cut over to Bam here by the team challenge thing. Cemetery, we gotta do the transfer over on that entrance thing. It's showing the ramps, so all I gotta do is just transfer from those ramps and get the entrance ramp fucking gap again, and that's it. It's it's not that hard to do. Gotta do a rocket air too, in case you're wondering. And there you go. Now it's time for a race. And this race, not that good a race. It starts off okay, and then it gets confusing, because you got this fucking ramp area, and then you're like, where do you go now? Where's the arrow now? Jeez, I can't find the fucking arrow right now. Guess what, the arrow? It's not around there. Can you find it, guys? Can you figure out where the arrow was? The next arrow? After just going across from that little fucking kicker there? It's right there. And after that, you get this arrow right here. And after that, you get this arrow right over there. I mean, this is fine so far. It's straightforward. And then you get confusion. Cause then you go over here. Hey look, there it is. Oh wait, I have to go back on that fucking crypt now because guess what? The arrow is in the middle of the crypt. Jesus Christ. So you get this arrow. Then you go there. Then you go over there. And that's it. It's not the worst. But it starts off shitty. And hey, Jesse's here. He wants to get 140,000 points in the fucking focus mode. So, use the fountain. This is a fountain, by the way. It will help us out. There we go. So, grind the fountain all the way around, you'll get the fountain gap. And also utilize it to get the fucking scores. See? And with that, I am now going to go ahead and just, you know, get that thing going on with the score before I land it down and beat it. Way to focus. And hey, a tourist here wants me to go ahead and mail from the church to the cemetery. Pretty easy line, honestly. You know, nothing really in the way for the most part. So, manual. 
We're about to balance in a bit. Guess all the bench there. And nailed it. Didn't even use focus. Got the church cemetery gap out of that. And guess what we'll get on my fucking scooter and grind the fountain. And show me the fountain, but I know what the fountain is. Done. Fuck your scooter. What next? Well, I do have a team challenge thing. So let's just go ahead and do the spine transfer over the statue area. And also go talk to the tourist there, I guess, because I'm sure he has something for me to do there as well. But yeah, just spine transfer that. No tourist! Where the tourist go? Show the tourist, but there's no tourist now. Was he a fucking ghost? I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to my character to begin the next team challenge thing here. Because, wants me to go ahead and do that building gap. I mean, the rooftop gap there is pretty easy. So... Just gotta get over there. To the other side of the map, really. Um, just try to get yourself over there, and then just jump over that gap, and that's it. I definitely more to say to you about this one, it's just a really easy gap to pull off, and a really easy goal in the middle of it all. Don't ever do that again, heart's pounding so hard. Let's get our buddy to do the same thing I just did. He's not watching this time. So, we could do anything. We could bullshit completely. And, you know, he would believe us if he's not fucking watching. But we gotta go ahead and do it legitimately. So, Mike fucking Valley, we're a badass, you know? A badass like Mike would not pussy out if a jump like this, alright? He also wouldn't pussy out and bin the shit out of you, but that's another story. So, I try to go in for this direction, however, the stats suck, so I can't even reach the jump. So I have to go this way instead. And now I gotta go ahead and jump over this, and that's it, right? Well, no, because the game decided to not have the gap trigger for some reason, then. Why? Anyway, I tried to get anyway, and this time I used this grind here to help me out. And there you go. Building gap. Done. Fuck you. So, that was crazy, I guess. But now it's time for me to do something crazier. By going to that big oval thing and lift the freaking roof edge there. Yeah, I gotta lift the, the fucking crypt there. So... You know, just go over to the graveyard, lift the crypt from the very front part of it, and that's about it, really. Unfortunately, I kept fucking it up. And I mean, I really kept fucking it up. I also tried grinding the entire thing to see if anything different would happen, but no. Would have been nice. Would have been a nice gap. So, let's check that and you're good to go, though. Cemetery lift. There you go. With that out of the way, we can now move on forward to... A goal here. Which we can all do with Rodney. So... Rodney is finally going to appear again, and uh, all he wants me to do here is do a blunt slide on just that. Really easy. Get myself the south fan out of that. And I'll go ahead and do the last goal as Rodney Mullen, because Rodney Mullen is awesome. Even though this goal isn't. It's the no skate signs again. Guys, to go slap them all. And two of them are at the graveyard, and the other one is right by the fucking tag spot that we did beforehand. So, for these two, either go up in the ramp area, or get lucky on the direction feeling like I'm about to do right now, in order to get this shit going. See? Really awkward timing there. But after that, we can then go on forward to this sign, by this tag spot you've already seen. And there you go. That is every single gap, every single goal of New Orleans. The gaps are actually next. And I did miss a few. So luckily it's not that big of a fucking deal, really. But uh, here's all the goals. And uh, here are the gaps as I go back to the skate van, chase myself, and then go to the scoreboard. So the most of the gaps that I missed happen to essentially be 
grind gaps. So, yeah, not a huge big deal there. So let's go ahead and take care of all of them, shall we? As well as the one electric gap that I missed. So first of all, grind this entire graveyard ramp, at least half of it, in order to get the gap known as Scary Grind. After that, get up to the rooftop to take care of this one right here, this entire uh, roof grind here for the big roof. And then go ahead and grind all the way around this entire airfield place here, as well as grind from this rail here all the way back. It'd be a bit pain in the ass, but if you pull it off well, you'll get yourself the helipad gap. How that grind, really. And then lastly, grind this entire building over here that will cut off eventually in order to get yourself the roof pools. And last, I took this spot here in order to get the high lip. And that's it. That's New Orleans, baby. And with that out of the way, all we have left is Skatopia. Which is the last level of the entire game, really. So, next time in Fug 2 GBA, we are beginning the final level. And we're completing story mode with Skatopia. I'm going to save... Yes, and then I'm going to go to level select. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in Skytopia.